In this video, we're gonna go over the basics of the flute, how to hold the flute, different parts of the flute. We're gonna go over how to play the basic scale on the flute, how to play some melodies, and also some other techniques that will make playing your spirit flute really fun and dynamic. So let's get started. The first thing we'll go over is the basics of the flute and the basic techniques of how to hold the flute and how to put your mouth on the flute. So there's the mouthpiece, there's the fipple or the sound hole, which is the square hole here, and that's where the sound comes out. And you have a fingering holes. Now on the side blown spirit flute, the only difference is that the mouth hole is on the side of the flute rather than on the top of the flute. Now the basic techniques are how to hold the flute, how to put your fingers on it, and how to put your mouth on the, on the mouth hole. So with your fingers, you'll want to use one hand on the top, you'll use your pointer finger and your index finger, and either one, either hand will work on the top of the, for the top two holes. So you'll cover the top two holes. On your five hole spirit flute, your ring finger will sit in the space where there's no hole here. And then with your other hand, you'll cover the bottom three holes. Now you'll want to use the pads of the fingers rather than the tips of the fingers. And that means you want to use a flat finger rather than a pointed or arched finger. So, and that the main, the main reason is because the pads of the fingers gives you more surface area to catch the holes. It makes it a little easier. And that tends to be the biggest challenge in the beginning is catching the holes. Now, if your spirit flute is a six hole spirit flute, then you're going to want to use either hand again on the top three holes. And then with your other hand, you'll cover the bottom three holes. Now on both flutes, you'll want to use your thumbs to go on the bottom and your pinkies, so your thumbs are on the bottom and your pinkies just rest anywhere on the flute. And those are going to be your support fingers when you have all the holes open, you'll have a way to hold the flute. Now the next thing is an embouchure or a mouth position, how you put your mouth on the flute. And what you want to do is you want to create kind of a kissing uh, or purse your lips and then put them on the flute. You want to avoid putting your mouth over the flute. And the main reason, there's two reasons. One, if you pursing your lips gives you more back pressure and that back pressure allows you to have more control over your breath and how much air goes into the flute. And it often will create a sweeter sound and a lot more control of the sound. And the other thing is that it, it reduces the amount of moisture that's gonna be going into the flute, which allows the flute to be played for a longer period of time without moisture building up in the flute, uh, which will reduce the quality of the voice. And those are the basic techniques. So the next thing we'll go over is how to play the bottom note first and then how to play up and down the scale. To play up and down the scale, you'll first wanna get the, the root note or the bottom note. So you'll wanna cover all the holes. Again, remember to use a real flat finger. And then once you have all the holes covered, use your embouchure and just blow real lightly. You should get a real solid tone on that. It should be real clear, crisp, solid tone. If it sounds like this, it could be one of two things. The most common thing is that the holes aren't quite covered. And so you want to readjust your fingers, being sure to use the pads of your fingers to really try and feel the holes and make sure that all the holes are covered. The other thing that happens is you people blow too hard or too light, but tends to be too hard. So try just varying your breath pressure in order to get that solid tone. So readjust and then go ahead and find that solid tone. The next thing will be to play up and down the scale. So you'll want to go slow doing this, especially in the beginning. Going up the scale tends to be a little easier. So you'll cover all the holes and you're just going to open the holes one at a time from the bottom up. And the main thing is to listen to each note as you go and pause and take a breath whenever you need to. You don't want to feel like you're running out of breath. It's kind of a natural thing to just, whenever you feel like you need to naturally take a breath, just pause and naturally take a breath. And that's something you'll get used to over time. So you'll start from the bottom and you'll work your way up one note at a time, just like this. Now as you walk up the flute, 
It often takes more breath pressure as you move up. Remember how I was saying you want to blow a little lighter on the bottom? Well, as you move up the scale, you'll probably want to put a little more breath into it. And if you listen to the notes as you're playing, you'll hear the difference. You'll hear, oh, it's gonna sound, the note's sounding a little weak. You'll want to add a little more air to it. Once you've walked up the scale, Now you wanna pause and take a breath and you're gonna walk back down the scale. And this one's this is a little more challenging because it, you have to catch the holes as you're moving down with each finger. And so you wanna go real slow in the beginning and as you catch each hole, use a flat finger again and go listen to each note to make sure it sounds solid. If it doesn't sound solid, then that means you, when you, that you put your finger down, you didn't catch the hole completely. And in this beginning stages of playing up and down the scale, the main thing you're doing is you're really teaching your fingers how to catch the holes. You're teaching the muscle memory so that it becomes second nature and the fingers kind of catch the holes uh, on their own. So what you'll wanna do is if, if you hear that the note is kinda of off, you'll wanna lift that finger back up and replace it down so that it catches the hole. And that way you're teaching that muscle memory. So go real slow, listen to each note, pause and take a breath whenever you need to, and just play on down the scale. Now as you're moving down the scale, you'll want to lighten up on the breath pressure. Again, if you, if you put too much pressure as you're going down to, especially on these bottom notes, you'll get something like this. or maybe even a squeak. And that means you're blowing a little too hard, or if you get a squeak, blowing way too hard. And you'll hear the sound quality will change. It'll get kind of breathy and raspy. So go ahead and try that. Walk up and down the scale a few times. And this way, you're gonna teach your fingers the muscle memory, and you'll also get used to playing up and down the scale, which is, a, is really the basic technique and the foundation for playing melodies on the flute. Do that for a little while until you get used to playing that and it feels really comfortable. If you start getting bored, then it's time to move on to playing some simple melodies.